Hello everyone, let me adjust this mic real quick. Oh, I should adjust this. There we go. Reset that. That's just gonna be a massive edit. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone, welcome back to Botan Kaidos. In the last episode, we were basically just trying to go around, figuring out exactly where to go. I know that's a kind of boring episode, but we now know where to go. I've saved, so let's go. We are going to stop or close interdimensional cracks, but also save our friends. <sighs> that took a lot out of me. So for this one, we gotta go to Gibari. I kind of should have saved Savina first, because, you know, I need my girl. I love her, uh, her combos. But it's okay. We'll get Gibari. He's just as good. And he's also a class 5, so he should be able to use uh, up to 6 hits, just like Shella. Now, these guys, I believe they're all, like, demon centaur-looking dudes. But I'm going to try to take pictures of each of them. What do I got that's useless? No, not that. That's that's actually useful. There. I have a chance. Alright, interdimensional rift part two. We're going into this interdimensional crack. Shade, are you ready? Hell yeah, let's let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, this one should have a challenge. There's a small opening in the wall. Hmm. Something's written here. Set here the White Magnus, the symbol of freedom which flies in the sky. What could this mean? Shade? Do you have any idea? Nope. Don't got anything like that. White Magnus. So we need special Magnus for each of them. Oh, we need clouds. I'm a, I'm a dummy. So, I'm if I, now that I remember, basically you need an offering in a sense, but something from that place. So for this one, we need clouds, and there's only one way to get them. The cloud path. And luckily, Shella is strong enough to take on everything here. There's literally nothing that could actually hurt her. It's the next area is when it's a challenge. And I think the next object we're going to need, because I'm going to go to um, the third continent, I believe we need a seed for the for the great tree thing. Excuse me. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure it's on the left side of the map. Of the cloud path. No, no, it's it's on the... It's even about right here. It's the west side, I mean. Alright, you want to challenge me? Let's do this. Wind, water, and fire. This one might actually take a few hits, so I'm just going to do four. No damage. Yep. Eh, more stuff we could sell. I'm gonna skip as many fights as possible. And, uh, fight whatever, you know, blocks my path. Fire one, fire two, fire three, fire four. And, uh, special four. Pure fire. Up, nope, AC 130 hit. How much damage you do? I'm actually gonna let you hit. Go for it. Poison flames. I remember you can poison. 
Don't worry, I can, I can buy more of the chestnut stuff for poison resistant resistance. 109. 109 is not that bad. I'm gonna have to be careful though. This is another kill. And one left. Using nothing but chrono based stuff. No damage. Chrono, water, water, and wind. You can block all you want, buddy. And for you, you get you get the wind attack. <clears throat> Whispering wind. The butterflies kill all. Yes. I'm going to use one of my uh, my last one. So I need to remember to buy more. I have the funds for it because of the Gildam Lane picture. I think it's... I kind of remember... It might actually be on the river. Oh yeah. That dude's son is dying down there. Well. Let's do this. And he dies from fire. Nope. He blocked everything. Feathered hat. Is that all you got, buddy? Is that all you got? You think this hurts me? You're nothing to me. Uh oh. Man, eh, it's fine. I can get her more. I can just keep her alive with healing. One, two, two, three, four. I just realized I'm using nothing but eights, so I'm just going with the eights. Yeah. You think I can get hurt? You're a freak. Fire. Water. Time. Water. And then airstrike. Well, technically, this is not her airstrike attack. This is her AC-130 attack. I used to call it the AC-130 just because it kind of reminds me of AC-130 firing down upon you. Yes! Death! Let's keep going. Okay, okay. Stuff I don't need. Actually, that's defense 24. Not bad. I'll take the defense 25. Yeah, I got no poison healing. She'll be fine. She's a trooper. Pretty sure the I get it from there, down there. So we're going to have to uh, go save the kid. Unless I get it from here. Because I don't remember where I get the clouds from at this point. Maybe this side? We'll learn. We'll relearn. It's been so long. Okay, right there. And the best part is it's not that far away from the exit. You'll never take me alive, demons! You'll never take me alive! Yes. Trap Cloud. No, no, I don't need any more. Don't need any more. Nah, we don't need it. The best part is the exit's right there, so we could just uh, skip our way through. 
I don't think the clouds disappear, but just in case they do, let's rush. Because I'm already nine minutes in, or not nine minutes in, close to nine minutes in. All right. First off, I'm gonna make sure I buy. Uh, I'm gonna from Sheliac. I'm gonna buy some uh, some poison healing stuff. Pretty sure this is the shop right here. Hello, gorgeous. Okay. Yes, you have one. And I did buy the buckles, so that's fine. I did see another light flare. I only had one. So we're gonna have to make it work. Okay, she's level 29. I th think Shella should be fine. Again, it's been... It's been, uh... Hold on. Um, it's been since 2021 since I played this last. So it's been quite some time since I, uh, since I had to do this stuff, so I, I don't remember. She might, she might, might being a key phrase. But before we go into that fight, hopefully, hopefully we're fine. And hopefully, uh, no, what I'm trying to say is, Hopefully, our deck is fine, where there's nothing rotten or anything for healing. Let me check just in case. Nope. I mean, yeah, there are vinegars in there, but that's perfect for an attack. Pretty sure that eventually turns into wine. I need to, I need to, I need to research that before the next episode. All right, here we go. Yep, I'm ready. Each of the bosses are, uh, are old gods. Alright, alright, yep, yep, yep. We need this. And who are we saving? Gibari! Hell yeah. But here's the boss. Yeah, like I said, a little demon centaur god. It was the third one I didn't take a picture of. I got him easily. So it's a 1v1 boss fight with Shella, which is actually probably bad, like super badass. Alright, first off, get that picture. Then, light flare. Let's see what elements he's weak against, because I'm not look I'm not researching it. Wind fire and then dark so aside from chrono i've used every element what you got on you buddy okay he is weak against water it looks like yeah he's weak against water darkness he's strong against okay easy so, what about time, though? So let's use a uh, chrono after this. So these fights are basically essentially bosses, but they feel more like mini bosses because of how quick you could dispatch them. And here's a bunch of water for you, buddy. I know how much you say you love the water. Water is so good for you, man. Let me just tell you that. Let me just tell you, you love the water. Have water. And now let me fire an RPG. That's essentially an RPG right there. Okay, so light and water. Light and water. Luckily, Shella seems to have a lot of light and water. And waste that. Get rid of it. She's gonna tank for a second. 120? Duh, he's weak. He's a weak hitter. Water. Light. Water. 
could use a little bit of fire. I know it doesn't hurt him. Fire. Then Soul Flash. So we get, we get at least two water attacks, two light attacks, two fire attacks. Shiny. Yeah, we're doing some decent damage. And he is not. He is not having a good day. Hit me for one. Nine damage. Holy, yeah, these guys are... This dude is weak. How much have you hit me fully? I'm kind of curious. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Oh, he's using a special. Burning blood. Ooh, not good. Actually, not bad. Chance of freezing to that. Wind. Chrono. Dark. Dark. And then Dance of Light. If he's, if he's using specials, he should be close to death. I don't know how much health he has, but it's not... It, 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 oh, yeah, he's almost dead. He's weak. Uh, get rid of the fire. We don't need those. We have Whispering Wind. Gonna heal next round. How much damage? 84? Yeah, I'm guessing because he's the, technically the next in the list. I can wait one more round. I can wait one more round. Let's do that. Have some light. Have some light. Have some vinegar. Have some whispering wind. He don't like vinegar much. He's down for the count. The first boss has been defeated. Well, technically the first of Malpertio's minions. 5,000 experience from that. That's not that bad. And we got another uh, star piece. Uh, first, I'm going to use one of the gelatins. What I'm going to do is, before the next episode, I'm going to sell all the rotten food I have. Because I have so much rotten food. I need to buy more, uh, buy more uh, healing items and stuff. Alright, so now we got Gibario on our side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. So, how are things going on the outside? I mean, how bad is it? They're hanging on somehow, keeping the enemy at bay. I see. Well, no time to waste. Let's get back to business and save the world. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the good news is we at least have a teammate. Bad news is I don't know how his deck is. Because I haven't used Gibari or Liud in a while. We've been using Shella for a bit, so we at least know her, her, her loadout. But we can at least go save now. So, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a plus. So next up, if the pattern is correct, next one should be Savina. Which I'm looking forward to that, hell yeah. Savina's my girl. Alright, let's go save, because I don't want to lose this at all. After everything we've done. Save. Can I visit the church? Let's see what I can do. Can I level up at all, my friend? No, but Gibari can to 29. I'm gonna have to make sure I get everyone's class up items. I have two star pieces for you, buddy. Oh yeah, he's asking about Callus. Though I know not what happened, my blessings are with you. Please don't look so glum. 
Your friend will be beside you again soon. Very soon. Okay, thank you, sir. Wait, I'm not done yet. Oh, I just remembered. I've gathered enough information to help you in search. I'll tell you everything I know, but I don't want to confuse you. I'll give you the information little by little. Ask me several times if you want to hear everything. And remember, there may be other fragments that I haven't heard about. If I may so, if I may say so, I think the best strategy would be to collect the Magnus one by... Oh, this is a star chart. Uh, star map. I'd like to hand over any fragments. There we go. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Today you brought me a f peach... <laughs> Officious. I'm truly grateful. Do you mind if I added the star map? Uh, I thought I added... I thought I had more. Meh. Here we go. Now then. Officious. There we go. Do I get a reward from that? Yes, Light Flare 4. That's going to freaking come in handy. Finally, a Light Flare. Now we can go to the next town. But I'm going to save real quick. Because the emulator is so wonky. Well, again, it's not the emulator. It's the, um... Uh, this ROM... Something's wrong with the ROM where it, it doesn't load everything correctly. And then it, it crashes. I would record it off my GameCube because I can play this on the GameCube. But... Um... I don't have a recording device for the GameCube, so this is the next best thing. All right, to a new Inoue. This is where we're gonna do the next one. So we are literally at Endgame now. Well, I mean, no, we're not at Endgame, but we're on the road to Endgame. Like, imagine we're going on, uh, like we're playing Pokemon and we're on uh, Victory Road. This is Victory Road. Getting all your teammates, going to the last area, or going to the last three areas, and then you're good. Because uh, we've already collected all the Magnus, uh, Darkness has taken over the world, yada yada yada. Oh wait. Pretty sure what we need. Nah. Let's go figure out what we need and that'll be the end of this episode. Excuse me, I'm more important than you. I'm going to save the world. This time we get to climb it after it's bloomed. Because I think the save point's halfway up here. It's been so freaking long. You can attack me if you wish. But I'm going to kill you. I wouldn't talk, uh, uh, target me, buddy. I'm stronger than every one of you. It's when we get to the fourth area, that's when it's going to start having enemies that can actually fight back. I mean, yeah, they could probably poison or paralyze or burn us, but that's nothing. Alright, so here's our save point. I like how he just stops right when we're here. Alright, do it. Attack me. The unavoidable fight. Light, dark, fire, water. And then dark embrace. Dang, he actually survived that? Ooh. We get some new abilities. We get to use Whirlwind Hit. It's been a while since we've seen him use abilities like this. Destructive Power. Whirlwind Hit. And that takes down one. These guys definitely needed uh, needed some training, so it's fine that we're doing this because we're about to get uh, we're about to get my my strong arm. Hit me. How much damage y'all do? Mmm, triple digits is not that good. 
but it's not that bad either. Dang, I just realized I could have put that out as one, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. Uh, gotta get change his deck a bit. Have some, uh, have some all natural honey. What are you doing? Carcass of life. Oh yeah, you can increase attack. I forgot. But did you waste your turn is the question. Yes. Yes, you did. And this should kill. Soul Flash. Nope, he's stronger than that. But he's about to die. Look at all this vinegar. <laughs> I love the second time he does it. Time to die! He get, he gets like he gets a little bloodthirsty at that point. Ooh, Demons of Darkness. Let's see if that affects him. Demons of Darkness. Yep, completely wiped from existence. As is tradition. Oh! Ursa Major. Yeah, I forget some enemies can drop uh, uh, star star map parts, which I need to eventually do. Because I finished the star map last time. It took forever. Alright, what gate we need? Or what, what we need for the gate? I'm ready. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There's a small opening in the wall. Hmm, something's written here. Set here the Magnus of Life, the Seed of Life. Yeah, I was right. So there is a seed inside the inside the town, the main town. So that's where I'm going to start. Here's, I'm actually going to start the next episode here. So I'll be back on the next episode. So thank you everyone so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll be saving the next person who is behind that gate, which most likely is Savina. So look forward to that. But until then, guys, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.